Hi Rockets! Today we're going to read a book called Changes, Changes by Pat Hutchins. This is a really special book because it's a wordless picture book. That's right, this book doesn't have any words. As we read today, I'll be asking you to help me use the pictures to tell the story. Before we open it up, we're going to take a close look at the cover to talk about what we see, what we think this book might be about, and any wonders that we might have. All right, let's take a closer look. Here's a closer look of Changes, Changes, the cover of the book. What do you see on this cover? I see two people. I see blocks. I see different colors. Hmm, I see something interesting here. This looks like smoke. And that makes me think that this is on fire. Take a closer look at the people. What do you think these people are feeling? They're looking over at the fire and the smoke. I think maybe they're concerned. Hmm, based on what we've seen, what do you think this book might be about? I think this might be a book about a structure that catches fire. Hmm, I have a wonder. I wonder what these people will do about the fire. Let's open up the book to find out. Remember, we won't see any words. We'll have to tell the story using just what we see, what we think in the pictures. Okay, let's go. Changes, Changes. Changes, Changes by Pat Hutchins. So here we see blocks of different colors stacked on top of each other and the two block people how do they look like they're feeling? Yeah, happy. What's happening here? The block people are stacking up the blocks. They're each working on a different part and now they're working together. I wonder what they're making. What do you think they're making? The two black people look really happy in their house. But what happens next? Yeah, just like on the cover, a fire is starting. Smoke is starting to go into the air. And the people look like they're feeling oh, surprised, maybe frightened. Let's see what they do. What does it look like they're doing here? What do you think the two block people are doing? Oh, they're carrying the blocks away from them, away from, away with them and away from the fire. So they're taking down their structure. Quickly, it looks like it's falling. person looks a little happier. What's happening on this page? They're using water to put out the fire. Look, they've made a hose from the blocks. And down here, it looks like this block person is on, yeah, a fire truck. Ladder, hose, Fire is out. There's only a little bit of smoke left. Now what's happening? What do you see at the bottom of the page? Water. I think all that water from the hose is forming a sea. What will they do next? They're moving the blocks again. What do you think they're making? Let's find out. Were you right? They've built a boat. What do they look like they're saying? 
Full steam ahead. Here, their boat is landed on a beach. They're getting down. Now can you describe what they're doing? It looks like maybe they're building something else. What do you think they might be building? I see a wheel. I see a steering wheel. What have they built? A truck. And they look like now they're saying, let's go that way. Now what's happening? Building something else? They keep changing their structure. I wonder what they'll build this time. Can you describe what's happening on these pages? They built a train. See, let's go. Choo choo. This black person looks concerned again. Hmm, I wonder if there's a problem with the train. They're changing their structure again. What do you think they're building this time? Just like in the beginning, another house. The end. That was our book. Changes, Changes by Pat Hutchins. This is a really interesting book because again, there are no words in this book. We had to make up the story using just the pictures as we went through. I think we did a pretty good job using our eyes to see what was on the pages and thinking about what was happening. We even made some predictions as we went along about what structure they would build next. All right, I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me or I guess not reading, but making up the story with me, just using the pictures. Maybe you'll even feel inspired to make a book of just pictures of, um, of your own. And if you do, we'd love to hear about it. Feel free to send us an email. I hope you enjoyed this story and I'll see you next time. Bye Rockets.